Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a glass bar overlay in Premiere Pro. So it's gonna look a little something like this. It looks like just some glass bars are going over the top of the screen, um, and this is completely customizable, so you can do literally anything with these glass bars and animate it the way that you want. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is, as always, create ourselves a new sequence, file new sequence, and then what we're gonna do is we're actually going to drag in a few versions of our footage. So what I'm using here is actually just a picture. Uh, you can use a video for this, it's perfectly fine. It just needs to be pretty stable because whenever it shakes, it'll look a little bit weird if all the glass is shaking as well. But you can do it and a little bit later, I'll try to throw in some video real quick just to show you what that would look like. So we have these three. Uh, you can put in three or four depending on how many glass bars you want, you can put in just two. What we also need to do is create a couple of extra video layers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this up twice so we have a few extras. And we're gonna place this one right here. And this will make a little bit more sense in a second. So now that we have all three of these and we're ready to begin creating our glass bars, we need to go up into File, New, and then down into Color Mat. It's gonna be right here, Color Mat. We're gonna click OK. And then we're gonna make it a white color, just like so. And then we're gonna name it something like a glass and click OK on that. And so what we have here, uh, you can also create the color mat from clicking on this button down here and going to color mat. But what we have now is just a white solid. Once you drag it on, you should be able to see it right when we make the top disappear. You'll see that there's just a white solid here. What we wanna do with this white solid is we want to actually sort of break it up into what our glass bars are going to be. So once I click on it, we can go up into the effects and then down into the opacity. So make sure that this is selected, go to the opacity and we're gonna create ourselves a box here. And this is where we can sort of choose where we want our bars to do. And the last one I had it going like diagonal, let's try to do some horizontal bars here. So I'm going to create maybe one really big one. If we hold shift, it'll make it a straight line. So let's make it straight. Click the bottom one and do the same thing. And maybe we want it to be just a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna uh, bring that up a little bit bring that up a little bit. And you'll see it creates a mask right here. I'm gonna click Control C, Control V to copy and paste that. Bring down another one to maybe right here. And make sure that the feather over here is on zero. This is glass, so it's really sharp. There isn't going to be any feather between the glass. It doesn't uh, bend light like that. It bends it in a direct manner. So there needs to be direct angles here. And then let's create uh, maybe one more here. So let's click on this control CV and let's create another one, but let's make it really tiny. So we'll grab this and we'll drag it really small, small like so, and let's try to make it so that it's a straight line here. And we just kind of got to guess this looking good. Three lines. Let's do one more. Let's do one more control CV and let's drag one right here and let's make this one even smaller. I just feel like that would look kind of cool. And sometimes they don't look cool and you have to go back and just change things around. This is sort of like an artistic uh, thing you need to do. Okay, so now that we have all of these lines created, these are our bars. So we have the glass layer, we have all of our bars created. So let's go ahead and turn back on the top layer. Then we're going to go into our effects over here on the left. And we're going to search for something called track mat key. So up here, just search for track and it'll probably come up. You can search for the whole thing if you want. Click on this, drag it into the folder, uh, the file right here. So you wanna drag it beneath this layer. So actually, let's go ahead and hide this one again. Uh, we'll unhide it in just a second. So what we wanna do is drag track mat on the one that's below the glass layer that we just created. We're then going to go to track mat key, so select that one that you dragged it onto, go up to track mat key, go to mat, and we wanna choose the glass layer, which in this case is video three. So we're gonna click video three, and you'll see that nothing has changed. And that's because what we need to do now is just increase the scale here. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and increase it to about 110. And now you can see the glass has started. And that's because what it's doing is it's using the white in here to basically uh, filter down to this layer. So whatever is white in our bars, which is why we made it white, is going to appear. So now we've just created this sort of um, element on top of it, and then now we're saying scale it up a little bit. So now all the white bars are showing a slightly increase a slightly scaled version of the image. And so we get these things that look like bars in front of it. And then we can do it one more time just to sort of make it look kind of cool. We could create an entirely other glass structure or we can just drag this one out here. Actually, we want all of the masks that we created. So we're gonna click on this one, hold down the Alt key and just drag up. 
and that's just going to copy it. You can also hit Control C, Control V. Uh, if you do that, just make sure that this is selected up here on five. So we want this highlighted, otherwise it'll paste onto layer one. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing. Let's turn this back on. We're gonna go into our effects, search for track mat key, drag it onto this image. Then we're going to go to the mat. We're gonna make it the mat on five. And now you will see that it looks exactly the same again. And then we can also apply that scale to this as well. So let's apply a scale of 110. And now it's gonna look identical. Now what's kind of neat about this is that it's kind of going downwards in a matte sort of waterfall. So what we can do is we can take this one and we can actually sort of change things around. So we could either affect the image itself. So if we affect the image itself, it's going to sort of affect this thing as a whole and we can use that as the glass. Or we can go affect the bars themselves. And if we affect the bars themselves, then we have this sort of moving glass structure going over it like so. So let's just try to animate a like a simple bar movement. Nothing too you know extreme here. We're gonna make these go up just like that over the course of it. So now we have this sort of video and it looks like there are these sort of bars going over it in the front. If you wanna make it a little more extreme, maybe you have these kind of come out a little bit or maybe you can even make them go backwards a little bit. Uh, and now you have this like sort of I don't know, multi-layered um, sort of stuff going on here. And then you can also, let's uh, let's bring this back up. Let's try to make it maybe a little bit larger like that. And then if we go down into this one right here, into our bottom 3D layer, what we can do is maybe make this sort of move the opposite direction. So these glass bars, we can sort of uh, animate them move in the opposite direction. So position, go up here. And while those are going up, we'll make these go down just a little bit. And now we can have this sort of glass that's moving in between the frames. And like I said, this is sort of an artistic thing. You gotta mess around with it to get exactly what you are looking for. Um, there are a lot of different sort of ways to do this. So just sort of play around with it and get what you want uh, to look for. But there we have it. We have our glass bars. And like I said, let me go ahead and throw some footage on this. Um, all we need to do is just delete these three, right like so. And then we're going to just drag some footage onto here we can drag, let's see, this one. Oh wait, no, that, that's a that's our current sequence. Let's drag, uh, let's go with this one right here. And then what we need to do is what we did last time, which was just drag those track mats on there. So effect track mat onto this one. And then we're going to make that into video three, track mat onto this one, make that into video five and then increase the scale of this one, to maybe like right there, increase the scale of this one to maybe something slightly different. And now we have just sort of some glass bars over this as well. And you'll notice that um, you can see with the shaky footage, it looks a little bit worse because it's sort of like a really clean effect. So you want either uh, a tripod sort of footage or you just want some very, very, stabilized footage or a picture and it looks really good. But that is how you create the glass bar overlay in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time guys, see ya.